Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past with me, Get Daved. So, I have just walked east one screen from... Wait, I've walked west one screen from where I was before, and I'm just trying to see if there's something I can't pick up here. Sort of standing inside the boundary of uh, those posts. Yeah, perfect. And that's going to allow us to pick up the Bombos magic. And it hurts and tries setting everything on fire. So we've got that now. And I'm actually going to stay in the light world here, even though our next destination is in the dark world. Because we have a little bit to do here. Hmm. Actually, maybe I should... Oh, well. If we were in the dark world in this spot, which I could have very easily been, uh, we could pick up a heart piece there. And that is loosely on my to-do list. There we go. Have I ever gone in here? Oh, yeah. A stupid money-making game. Let's play a money-making game. No? Okay. Alright, so our goal is to get into the dark world. And we need to get over to this side of the map in the dark world, which is surprisingly difficult. There is a portal I think we can use right now, though. And this is oh, a technique I never used uh, as a youngin, as a youngling. So... Alright. We're not able to pick this up. That's all well and good. I thought there was still a way to get to it, though. Possibly through cutting by cutting through a different part of the forest. go. Also, you'll know the fog is gone in the forest now. Okay. So I think I have... No? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. So we found an alternate route into the dark world. I alluded to the hookshot method earlier. And this one's still going to be super heavy. That's all fine. Thanks, buddy. That's okay. Dungeon 3, the Skeleton Forest, is in here. You don't want those guys to... Oh, come on. That was ridiculous. There we go. We got our stolen rupee back, everybody. Hooray. That pit we just saw was actually an entrance into the next dungeon. I think? But for now, I actually want to head over here for two things. One, we're just going to switch worlds real quick. Oops. Oh my goodness. Alright. Before, I remember, the lumberjacks were cutting down this tree. And it's been hollowed out. It's got a terrible infestation. So I think I have an empty bottle, so I might as well put one of you in captivity. You two can live. Before I grab you and go Pan's Labyrinth on you. So that was thing one. 
thing too. I need to be. Oh, thanks. Thank you very much. I actually need to be in the dark world for at first. It's an item we can get a little bit later on. Just gotta confirm my route here. All right. If you have the Titan's Mitt, which is the upgraded form of the Power Glove. You can uh, get it pretty easily, but using a little bit of clever or teleporting. There we go. Just gotta get him hit by his own explosion. A little octopus. Sure. Right, so we're gonna need a super bomb to crack open the pyramid of power, but I've already alluded to that. Oh. There. Give me my health back. Alright, now this is the cemetery in the light world. And I believe. Oops. There we go. I believe this is where I want to teleport. Um, yeah, I had a feeling I was going to accidentally trigger that. Okay. Are you kidding me? That might work out well for me. It won't. It did not. Alright. Off to the side, so we've got some nice room to work with. No, I do not accept that. Alright. There we go, you just have to ram it. And now, one of the better items in the game. The magic cape. Watch your magic meter. So it turns you invisible and invincible. And you can pass through some objects, Kitty, uh, Kitty Pride slash Shadow Cat style. So I would say that's pretty useful. There's actually a heart piece uh, we could grab near the entrance to Death Mountain. I'll try it. I wasn't planning on getting it. Oh, come on. I, yeah, I think you do the entire thing in the dark world. I believe... This doesn't look right. Oh, okay, no, we just have to use our hook shot to get across there. Either my memory's getting a little blurry. I thought there was one where you had to use... Yeah, okay. Everything's okay, everybody. My brain is working properly. So we'll just put on the magic cape, the invisibility cloak very briefly, walk through the bouncy ball, and we've got ourselves a heart piece. Oh, you. They upset me so much. Alright, and I guess we'll just go for the dungeon now. If I were to switch to the light world, I think there would be one kind of useful thing I could take care of real quick. I might go ahead and do that. Okay. We 
because I think there is something we can do to double our magic meter, basically. Oh, hey! It's a talking tree. Okay. Yes, sir. Oh, come on. Come on, I'm not gonna hurt you. Oh, nom nom. Whoops. Okay, this is where I was planning on going. We'll just switch back to the light world really quick. <laughs> Nothing about this has been quick. Alright. That's where the blacksmith lives. We will be bothering him shortly, but in the meantime, I'm going to jump in here. You know what? Let's try the magic powder. I mean, thanks a lot, sir. This guy kind of talks in opposites. Kind of. Uh, is that okay with you? Yeah, sure. Now, it sounds like he's halved our magic power, but he's actually halved the rate of consumption of it. A lot of people read that and were like, oh, he's also halved the power, so we have half as many, or twice as many shots at half the power. No, you've just got double the firepower, now, or double the ammunition, I should say. So that'll be very useful, because in the next dungeon, we get one, the fire rod, I believe. One flaming rod! Okay, hello. Isn't that a strange story? That is a strange story. I will think nothing of it. People without rupees are not welcome here. Well, I've got rupees. Kind of. I don't actually have that many rupees. One of these... Houses has a fair bit of money in it. It might be this one. Yeah, there we go. What am I doing? Alright. And there is a little game here. Open two chests for 30 rupees. We'll play honestly a couple times here. Useless. Hey, not bad. They're randomly generated every time. You have, just like the other games. It's the illusion of choice. What you're trying to get is a piece of heart here. And I'm just gonna state save real quick. Oh, well, we got a first try. Good thing I did that save state. And four for four. So now I believe, if my count's correct, we found 16 heart pieces. I can also open up dungeon four here by pulling on the pitchfork. I, uh... I think I'm gonna... S oh, let's go for it. Uh, actually, you know what? No, I'm going to save that for the next video. There's something else I want to do more. Misdirection! That's right, but now I've piqued your interest in watching it, and you'll have to come back for the next, next episode. Alright, down here there's another little game we can play. And also, if we were able to physically pick these up, which require the Titan's Mint, we could rescue that guy. And there's a simple little thing we could do with him. That's going to wait until the next video or so. Actually, they really want me up here. Oh, I can jump out, but it's a one-way exit. I'm okay with that. I have a pretty easy way of getting back via the light world. Uh, okay. We'll 
do this over here. A convenient geometric pattern. You know what that means, everybody. Over 17. And a pretty good way to stock up on hearts. Okay, we'll take our Vortex back. Uh-oh. Okay, now in the Light World, this is the grove where the boy is playing the flute, and then he disappears. his flute with some seeds. So we'll warp back. I'm gonna get sent back, aren't I? Frickety fracking. Alright, we'll put him off screen and then I should be okay. We have the shovel, a temporary item, and first try. It surely has some mysterious power. Alright, we have a sad thing to do with it. I'd like to hear it one more time. turned into what was in his heart, remember? In his heart, he's still playing that flute in the grove, and that's what he became. Damn you, Ganondorf. And there is... Well, I guess let's wrap up that business. So we need the Light World version so we can actually enter the town. Really? There we go. Well, actually, okay, if we play the flute there, something happens, but let's try tracking down the old guy. I think he's in the bar, but I'm just gonna double check. Oh yeah, one other thing. Little Mario up on the wall there. A little cross promotion from uh, Nintendo. Run through. the guy? There we go. Is he alright? Uh... Alright, so we played him his son's flute, and now... go. It's Bird Friend, everybody. A little duck-like enemy, or, er, well, not enemy, friend. If we play the flute, it will summon him, and he can drop you off at one of eight locations in the light world. Now, conveniently, we're pretty much where I want to be. So, you know, you can just drop, set us down again, thank you very much. But that is very helpful for a couple things we want to do. And it's actually critical 
for a couple others. Oh, I've got to do the circuit again. Is there a... Okay, I thought there might have been a fairy thing, but apparently not. I never quite bounce off far enough. Oh, interesting. <laughs> you can kill them. That was one of the dudes that spits out rupees until, uh, you know, he runs out or you kill him. with me, man. I can shoot beams out of my sword. I heard a dying sound. It made me wonder if the thief died, but he's back. If there's a way to kill the thief, guys, I would love to know. What, really? You've got to be kidding me. Give yourself 10 get Dave points if you caught the missed turn I made. There we go. I really should have taken that route from the start. Oh well, we got a chance to explore a different one. And over we go. Okay, everybody. In the next video, we're going to try the Skeleton Forest or Dungeon 4. Um, I haven't decided yet. I'll see you there.